Greetings and welcome back. We're playing Distant World Shadows. Okay, new day for me here. So uh, I think I just uh, sort of wrapped up the, all the retrofits last episode. So we'll just let those go. I'm pretty sure got yeah we uh, got those going for retrofit. So we'll just hit the space bar and continue on. And our money's still rocking. And we definitely need to get more uh, exploration done. So I think what I'm going to do is build some more explorer ships. How many do I have right now, actually? Uh, five. So I'm thinking I'm going to build maybe three more, five more. Yeah, three or five. Let's go to exploration and build. I'll go five. Okay, that'll give us ten of those. And I'm probably going to start automating this exploration job just a little bit now. I won't be taking the exploration ships into each and every system. I'm going to keep one back though. Okay, so we've got to make sure we get all these retrofitted. So as they as they uh, finish up what they're doing, we'll just hit the retrofit button on all these. Same with the construction ships. Uh, that one, so we'll retrofit. And where are you guys? That's oh, my first uh, fleet probably. Yep. So they're going to retrofit and they'll uh, actually get, uh, oops, they'll get uh, refueled at the same time. Wow, it's busy. Uh, select our spaceport here for a sec here. Okay, we only got four docks, so let's just making sure we weren't backlogged or anything. Oh yeah, we're still running at 4x speed too, so I'm actually going to just slow that down until I get my brain kick started a little better here. And I noticed I did review uh, one of the videos and I noticed the sounds were a bit loud. So I'm just going to maybe bring those down just a hair. Okay. And we got construction chips done, so let's get these all retrofitted. And last one. Okay, so we got one more that needs retrofit, and then we can uh, get going with some more building. So you're retrofitted, you're retrofitted. And we got all those new ones done now, so. Okay, so I guess we'll set up some uh, some exploration. So let's just hit pause for now. And I'm going to just start at the bottom of the list here, just because I know they're they're all retrofitted and ready to go, so. So what I'm going to do is basically explore by sector, I think. I'm going to explore these six sectors right here automatically. So what I'm going to do is uh, select an uh, exploration ship, and then we're just going to pick a star, right-click, explore this sector, H6. Okay. And we will explore this sector, I6. And this one's going to be tricky. There's a nothing but storms in here, but we'll do it anyways. And just see how we fare. Okay, all sectors in there. Okay, and that one's done, so we'll uh, explore this sector. And this one we'll explore this sector. Okay, so that's those five put back to work. And there's another one that's available, so we'll get him to do this one. Okay, so that gets us the six sectors right around our uh, home world here. And I might send one down here as well. Okay, so explore. You're retrofitted, so yeah, maybe we'll bring one down here to H7. And you're still busy. You're still busy, and you're refueling. Actually, instead of refuel, just retrofit. There. Okay, so that's all our explorers sort of set up. Uh, these six sectors here, and this one down here. And I think that's going to leave us with seven. So it's going to leave us with three exploration ships that we can sort of manually do stuff with. Or maybe I'll put one or two more and just keep one to do manual stuff. Eh, we'll see how it works out. So off we go again. So there they go. So that'll start. That'll sort of automate the exploration process just a bit. Now, what I want to do with one of these explorers is I want to just maybe start hitting some of these stars here that aren't named yet. 
Uh, maybe not so much down here with that other race, but up here maybe. These ones that haven't been explored yet. I might just take one explorer just to come around, poke your nose in, go to the next one, go to the next one, so, and not really explore for uh, resources, but we're exploring for runes and habitable planets and other colonies. And speaking of other colonies, uh, we should look at maybe doing something with troops so we can maybe grab this up. It's only at half a billion people, so maybe we'll wait for a bit. Uh, they got a pirate base 83% complete, so uh, that'll have to be taken care of once we grab it. Okay, so what do we got going on? So everybody's exploring. Oh, I got to rename those uh, last few uh, exploration ships just so I know that they're explorers when the uh, attack alerts come up. So I'm just going to put a star in front of the name. Bear with me for a minute while I do this. Oops. Okay. So now any attack uh, alerts that come up, I'll be able to tell that it's an exploration ship. And generally, the explorers are quick enough they can get away from most threats, anyways. So I generally don't run off to see what's going on with them. Oh, oh, oh! Here we are. Here's what I'm waiting for. Pirates offer Empire contact. Oh, I guess we've already done some of that, so, okay. So I don't need to explain that, let's just do it. Okay, 3200 that's kind of pricey, but we'll take it anyways. And it's the Grand Mortalins. Okay, let's go see what they're all about. And I think I have some spying going on right now, too, I'll have to check. And they naturally like us, so uh, the Mortalins uh, like us, but these guys don't. Neither do these. So humans and the Acadians uh, don't like us, but the Mortalins do. So we'll uh, maybe do some spying against them, find out where they are. And let's just check on our spies. And sort by role. Yeah, so we haven't got him doing anything right now. Um, don't know which one would be better to do this, but we'll... Uh, Grand Mortalin. So basically, I just want I'll actually just see what their galaxy maps. I'm sure they've got hyper uh, hyperdrive by now. 79%. So a bit risky on that. Um, I'll just go with territory map for now. The good thing about just getting the territory map is you'll be able to tell where their capital is, and then you can assign ambassadors, which you can probably do with uh, with these guys once I'm done uh, finding out where they are. So we'll assign that. Okay, and we'll carry on. And we, it's time to start building some ships too. I kind of forget how many we got. I know we got one fleet. And it's got five ships in it. And 24 military. So I've done two rounds of escorts, basically. And they're all still automated. Okay, you got no mission. Oops. Leader replaced. Okay, our leader Kispel has been ousted in a, as incompetent. Okay, that's new. Um, so we got a new leader. Let's go. Uh, oh, great. This change will not come without upheaval. Yeah, that's the only thing about playing the boss gardens is uh, the replaced leader always uh, has a bad side effect to it. So let's go see what he's all about. Oh, all green. He's an expansionist and free trader. Okay, high tech plus 10. So we didn't lose that high tech bonus. Trade income is up. So we'll have to get some trade going with the Mortalins, hopefully at some point. Uh, colony ship construction speed is uh, up. So that's good. And civilian ship construction speed, all 10%. Okay, he doesn't look bad. I forget what the other one had, but uh, I think he's a bit better. Okay, well, good enough. And what was I doing? I was just checking this out. He should go for retrofit soon, I would think. I could force it. Oh, he's going to go escort. I could force it, but... Uh, I think I'll just leave it for now. Let the AI take care of that uh, retrofit. OK, 
Okay, did we ever build? Yeah, we did do the uh, other round of uh, research stations. So those numbers are looking pretty good. And speaking of research, can we rush colonization? We've already done it. Okay. Um, I'll rush this one. Go triple speed on the enhanced shields. I guess I could start uh, thinking about coming over and grabbing this. Uh, the only thing about this, I'll have to make sure I don't enslave this population. They're Mortalins, and we want to actually get a bit friendly with the Mortalins if we can, because they do like us. So uh, if we take this planet, we have to make sure that uh, we don't enslave the population, or that's going to make the Mortalins very unhappy with us. Uh, the Boscarns default to enslavement of other races. And we can set up penal colonies to uh, to set up to to send the other races to if we want to enslave them, and that is part of our victory condition too. If we come in here, uh, exterminate or enslave the most people in the galaxy. So I don't know who else is uh, in the game that would be exterminating or or enslaving. Uh, so we might be the only one doing that, so we might not have to be actually enslaved too many to get that uh, victory bonus. Okay, so we got construction ships finishing up here. Soon, eventually. Probably this one, yep. Okay. Um, now, did I do those resort bases? I did the ones in my system, I think. Yeah, they're not listed here anymore, but we do have a 44% scenery bonus here, which I might go take advantage of. And where's that planet? That one. And we already have a mining station here, so let's grab that uh, construction ship, right click, and build a resort base. And speaking of resort bases, how's that one at our home world doing? Ooh, where is it? <laughs> uh, resort base. Yeah, 1.4 million boss garns on that one. So we've got a lot of bonus income from that. And a new empire. Okay, do you know any races? Yes, you do. The Ectarians. And they're probably not going to like us. Nope. And they instinctively dislike us. Okay, so the only one that we can... Well, we could probably get friendly with these. It's going to take a lot of work, but these guys will probably be the easiest to get friendly with. Yeah, huge strength and power. Well, catch up, guys. Let's have a look at our resources. I'm not sure where we're standing with this stuff now. So new new day, so I have to resort everything here. Okay. I don't see any inflation. Not in the strategics anyways. Yeah, that's basically all I really worry about. Uh, whether the luxuries get inflated or not. Eh. Probably not a, huge, not a huge deal. So we've got 10 sources of Krypton. Holy crap. Uh, two, two Chromium, good. Yeah, I'm not seeing any ones, so we got more than one of each uh, source of each resource. So that's always a good thing. And our stockpiles, and again, chromium's sort of lagging behind. Uh, Keslon's getting used up pretty quick. Uh, carbon fiber's a bit on the low side. Polymer's a bit on the low side, so... I might have to have a look at that. Polymer and uh, carbon fiber... Okay, so that's that's um, an exploration ship, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just uh, carry on. And did those last two explorers get done? You're retrofitting. You're refueling. Where are you? Oh, there you are there. Okay, well, retrofit. 
get that done. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ooh. 384 firepower. Oh, that's a big ship. <laughs> that's most of their firepower. I, I'm guessing they probably have their res uh, resupply ship and that... Uh, and this one here, this capital ship. That's probably their only two ships. So where is this? Um... Okay, oh, that's in the system we want to go to. So, if we want to invade this, we're going to have to make sure we bring some firepower with us. Because if that thing's still lurking in here, we're probably not going to get near that uh, colony. So, that's not a good thing. So, I'll just let that explorer go. Actually, hang on. I didn't rename that one. That's what messed me up. Okay. Actually, just make sure I did get all of them. Maybe I missed a couple. Um, oops. Okay, no, that's all of them. I guess I just missed the one. Okay, off we go. And we got uh, construction ships getting finished here. Okay, there they are there, yeah. And that's that one. So I'm just going to hit the stop on that so that we have no mission here. Um, if you're going to be using the planner, if you come in like this, you'll see, you'll see your available construction ships down here. Um, but the available construction ships need to say no mission. If they're doing anything else, even just moving away from the place they're just built or retrofitted, then uh, that's not going to show up as, as available in that screen. So you always have to hit stop and make sure it says no mission and then it'll be available in here. So what I'm going to do is maybe just have a look at some of those resources we're short on, such as polymer and carbon fiber. And oops. It's just going to use a drop down box, but I just noticed some here. And there's some Nephthys wine there. Alright, that works. So we'll go there. There's some more. Oh, there's carbon fiber and polymer. And a pretty good source of it. Now, <laughs> whether these are in safe systems or not, I don't know, but we're going to just send them off anyways. We'll see what happens at, at that point. Um. Okay, let's see if we can find some more fuel sources here. Okay, we'll go with that one. And we'll go with that one. And that's it for construction ships. The reason I like to get lots of fuel is number one, you always need fuel, and number two, it uh, prevents the pirates from claiming those uh, planets. And nothing saying they're going to come along and. Uh, of your station and take it themselves or anything like that but it makes it a little more difficult for them okay so I guess it's time to start building some military so we got lots of escorts out so what I think I'm gonna do is build myself a homeworld defense fleet so I think what they're going to consist of, and I found the I found this to be very handy, is build a fleet of boarding frigates, and then anything that comes in near your home world or whatever planet happens to be protecting, uh, they'll just board it, and you end up with a whole bunch of ships out of it. So I'm gonna maybe put uh, half a dozen in this fleet for now. Okay, so the second fleet is going to come into our fleet screen. And I'm going to call this Homeworld Defense. Okay, so those will come along. And I should uh, start looking at bumping up this fleet. Now there's uh, five escorts in there. 
know what? I think I'm just going to disassemble this fleet and just uh, automate those escorts. And we'll build a proper fleet. So we'll go to military, and where's our first fleet? So we'll just set those to none. I think there's a couple more somewhere here. They're there. And none. So let's just automate those. And they'll just do like the other ones. Just buzz around, protect stuff. So that should be the first fleet gone. Oh, I guess it could have stayed in here. Hang on. And we'll build a new fleet. And it will consist of frigates and destroyers. So we're going to have boarding ships and range uh, attackers. So we'll put one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. For a total of eight ships for now. Okay, so third fleet is going to be our first assault now. Actually, I'm going to call it Assault 1. Yeah, Assault Fleet 1. There. Okay, so off we go with that. See if any of these have upgraded yet. We need Mark 3s, I think. Yep, so they're starting to they're starting to upgrade now. So the AI is taking care of that. I think they just start at the top of this list and work their way down, maybe. Seems to be the way they're doing it. Yeah, nothing else is done, so it looks like they've just started upgrading those, which is fine. Technology recovered. In the rooms of the hidden gate of Ramanul, we have found technology that has advanced our understanding of enhanced gravity beams. Excellent. I actually didn't even use those on any of my designs either. So I'll have to do that. Okay, there's a first assault fleet. I'm just going to hit control one to book that, bookmark that. And the homeworld defense will just get assigned to our homeworld and uh, protect that. So I'm still waiting for these last two retrofits. Oh. Okay, well, I'll let him refuel first. He's almost out. So once he's refueled, I'll bring him up to retrofit. And then we'll have uh, a couple of manual exploration ships to utilize. So these guys are all out there busy. Well, it looks like he moved on from there, so that's good. And there's a couple of uh, last explorers coming in for retrofit there. So we have enhanced shields now, which means our shielding on our ships are going to be just a little bit better. And how much to rush this tech? A eh, fair bit. Not outrageous, but a fair bit. Actually, let's come in and see how our other right, uh, other two resort bases are doing in here. So let's select this one. There's 120,000 Boxcarans there. And 60k there, so they're all working. Just got to discover some stuff here. I don't want to build a bunch of fleets for no reason, really. I guess we can come in and take care of that independent. Yeah, 
Yeah, it might be a... You know, look, look at that next episode. I see we're at 25 minutes, so maybe we'll just let this one finish up. We've got our uh, borders coming, so our first assault fleet should be uh, coming along, yep. And we got a constructor finished. Okay, let's look at something a little closer to home. Maybe a bit more steel. That works. Much longer for that mission. 2109. So next month that'll be done. We'll be able to hopefully see where the Mortalins are. Hopefully we're not going to get caught and tick them off. And hey, new ship captain. Should almost have a look at some of those too. Some of them might be pretty bad. Uh, should maybe dismiss. Should maybe just have a quick look there. Yeah, we only got three of them. Uh, I don't know anything about him yet, or him, or him. I think we got to get into some scraps before we start seeing their traits. But uh, we'll keep an eye on them, make sure none are uh, just uh, nothing but reds for the stats. I mean. Okay, so this is looking pretty complete. I should almost get another defense fleet for in these systems. That actually might be a good idea. Just to have sitting in here in case there's any trouble. I got a lot of interest in here. Same with this system. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, so more borders, so... I'll build a dozen of these and I'll split them up between those two. And I'll put six in each. And we'll just leave them as fifth or fourth and fifth fleet or whatever they were called. Critical breakthrough on ion weapons, so triple speed on that research. And I think we don't have anything queued up after that. I think that's the end of what I had queued. Yeah, that's it. So I think what I might do, um, let's finish this. We can get enhanced armor for our next uh, upgrade. And then after that, I think we're going to improve all our weaponry once more. So I'm going to improve the, the Maxis blasters. And I am going to improve our rail guns. And then we'll get point defense. Uh, missiles are a bit further down. I'm not going to worry about those, but we'll get point defense. Wow, that's a lot of stuff queued up. Uh, nah, I'll leave it. I wasn't going to go that far ahead, but... Uh, okay, yeah, we'll leave it. Just trying to keep a couple things queued up, um, just so things don't get too confusing to watch. And did that? Ooh, it's like two weeks overdue here. It's just an estimated time you'll get back. It's not set in stone or anything. And there we are. We've got it. So let's see where our mortal and friends are here. Uh, what color were they? Oh, way out here. Oh, man. They're not going to do very well. That's a really bad place for them. He's, he's only got uh, half a sector colonization range. So unless he can build out some military and uh, come out and get another system, he's going to be pretty much trapped there. Okay, so he's probably not going to make the best ally in the world, that's for sure. But we'll work on it anyways. So, 
we come in here, Grand Mortal and Empire, we now know where their capital are, is Mortaloo. Mortaloo 1. So let's grab our ambassador and move him to Mortaloo 1. And he'll he'll increase uh, our diplomacy and tourism is income as well. So, and I think if any of their, it's probably not going to happen with where they're situated. But if any of their race came in and hit one of our, uh, or not hit, but uh, brought tours to one of our uh, resort bases, we would get a bon an, an additional bonus. But we don't know how much right now until uh, he gets his uh, traits kick started. So we'll put him there. And we are at 30 minutes, so maybe I'll just leave it paused and we'll end this episode here. And we'll carry on again next time. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just have a quick look through here first. So I'm, uh, ooh. Wow, they've almost uh, satisfied their uh, race victory conditions. Break the fewest treaties, have the longest mutual defense pact, so they know the securins. Uh, have the longest free trade agreements and perform the most research 71% yeah I'm number one but they're pretty close behind me 71% okay see what you guys are doing control 33% ocean colonies in the galaxy they've got control the three largest ocean colonies in the galaxy they've got a 33% on that and own the largest capital ship which they don't have and these ones, yeah. There's there, there there's the mortal ones here. Destroy the most enemy troops in the galaxy. Really? Might it must be from uh, pirate raids or something. Uh, have the most experienced general. Okay, we'll go through the rest of those. And control 33% of the continental planets. Okay, so yeah, these guys are catching up here, but mainly because of their. Uh, the racial victories and we have a free traders minecrafter peace through peace zero time at war and wonderland wonder world but one galactic wonder so that's about all oops we're going to look through the other stuff too yeah top dog on population and we're all tied for one colony still Okay, I'm rocking in economy, rocking in strategic, and rocking in military. Man, they're coming up pretty quick, but we're going to start building some uh, some good numbers here with uh, fleets and ships and that, so that shouldn't be too bad. And we're number one in the top colonies. Okay, not going bad. Perfect. Anyways, if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.